I now have a peculiar question for you. And you might want to be honest now. How many times did you lie today? Now, I don't mean to police you. It could be a white lie, one you told to spare someone's feelings perhaps, when that colleague asked you if they looked good in that sweater, or your spouse grew conscious asking you if they were getting fat. Most people lie sometimes, even daily. A study called Unpacking Variation in Lie Prevalence showed that people lie up to twice a day on average. While some harmless lies here and there may not be much of a problem, when do you know that it's getting out of hand? What tells you that it's border lining on a mental disorder? Let's discuss this. Researchers believe that honesty is our default mode of communication. You see, people have to be honest with each other to work effectively in big groups. But sticking to the facts is not easy for everyone. The study I just mentioned tracked people's lying every day over three months. More than 630 participants were asked to keep a daily deception journal. Now brace up for it. It yielded over 116,000 lies. About three quarters of the study participants were consistently honest. They told between zero and two lies per day. Meanwhile, a small subset of people, about 6%, averaged more than six lies per day. They accounted for a sizable proportion of the lies. The results, however, were not so bad. 75% of us are really pretty honest. There are a few people who are super honest, but then there are people who lie a lot, about 10 to 15 lies a day on average. And this group goes by the name of pathological liars. You might have heard, heard about them, even spoken to a few perhaps. People who just cannot stop lying to your face even if they have a good chance of getting caught. But that doesn't seem to matter because lying becomes a compulsion for them, you see. Did they eat the last piece of your snack? No. Did they just go out for a smoke? Of course not. Did they send that email you asked them to? Could very well be a false yes. It becomes talking to a wall of sorts. Take the example of American Republican George Santos. He was recently elected to represent New York's third congressional district. And in the months since his election, there were pretty big claims in Santos's biography. This included where he earned his college degree, his employment, an animal rescue group that he apparently founded, and even his affiliation to the Jewish religion. After a wave of scrutiny by reporters and fact checkers, Santos changed his stance and now he reportedly says he does not have a college degree, neither was he employed by Citigroup or, Go or Goldman Sachs. There is no record of his animal rescue group. He also says he never claimed to be Jewish. So what does that even mean? Why did he lie so blatantly in his biography? But why does that happen? Why do some people like Santos lie so incessantly? Well, now, there could be an answer which could put this frustration to an end. Pathological lying could finally be getting the attention, could finally be getting attention as a mental disorder. Since the late 1800s, pathological lying has been identified as a mental affliction, but it has always been a symptom of other ailments like personality disorders, it doesn't have its own diagnosis, however. When researchers assessed people who met the criteria for pathological lying, they came across something rather interesting. It turned out that the majority of the liars did not have any other psychological disorder. So it seemed like lying was their principal problem. People start to lie so much that they cannot stop. It becomes a compulsive habit. It begins to hurt them and those around them. And that is when it becomes abnormal and may need treatment. Sounds quite scary, does it not? Let me tell you this, there are some jobs also that seem to reward the ability to lie, turning people into fluent liars. Such professions are more likely to have a higher concentration of people who lie more than the average. 
there is good evidence that the more successful politicians are more willing to bend the truth. This could also boost their chances of being re-elected. Those working in sales have to lie almost every day. Employees of a retail clothing store regularly lie to people who try on the clothes. Maybe you would like to keep that in mind the next time you go out shopping. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.